All right, class, as you can tell from the kick-ass music, we are back with Shooters, Blood and Thief. Let's keep it going. Uh, been a pretty fun game so far. Just took out a Bane Blade. I don't know what the class does. Does it just change your... I don't know. I like being a storm boy, so... We're gonna keep going, and it looks like we're doing the Locust and Purist level. So we just killed a Bane Blade. Um, if those are the first two bosses, I don't know where they go from here, because... Uh, Going to mech shop. Let's try a plasma pistol. Um, I might have to turn this a little bit down on my headset. It's pretty loud. Give me one second. There we go. Um, Daka that burst into more Daka. I like that because I'm not accurate. Can I buy it? Oh, I don't have enough. Okay, we'll give it a try. Okay, so this is like a plasma gun. And look, there's a heat meter. Cool. Probably not going to use it. Oh, I don't know what I picked up. Oh, flamethrower! That's cool. Dirty vermin. Don't you worry, gates. I've got plenty of data for everyone. It's interesting that there's rats, because there's no scaven in the, uh... Oh, and a lizard. There's no lizard men in 40k either. Oh, die! I'm setting myself on fire. This was a mistake. I'm gonna die! Oh, and I didn't... Ah! Okay. Flamethrower, not the greatest idea. Cool for rats, not cool for lizards. I think the shotgun would be really good against him. Oh, I gotta reload it. Hope you're all doing well. Um, second semester has started for me, so it's been cool meeting all my new students and stuff. There we go, see? Okay, I'm gonna switch my splinter to the bolt. No, the bolter wasn't great. I just want the, okay, I guess we'll go to the bolter. No, I don't wanna buy it, I wanna equip it. So it's this way. I didn't like the bolter if I remember correctly. Flamer. All right, let's keep it going. Yeah, that's the one I want. There's some health, some more rats. Where's the flamer? Oh God. I can destroy a main blade, but I can't kill rats. Or whatever that thing is. Okay. Boomstick shooter, scorcher. Okay. I think I should use the scorcher. Just in case the rats come. See, it's why is it doing that? It's staying up. Sorry, I'm I'm fumbling with the controls right now, everybody. They're not very intuitive. So I hit triangle, or I hold triangle, and I go, I want that, and I hit triangle, it's gone. It's disappointing. Oh, something blew up. Gosh darn it, another one. That's wall. Get some damage downrange. Like that just, I like that, that thing, but it's just not fun. Like fighting that guy is not very fun. Oh well. I'm being very negative right now, I apologize. I do love the aesthetic of the game and the idea behind it, but like, I don't like these rats. So um, I mentioned earlier, there's no Skaven in 40k, at least that I'm aware of. Skaven are like a race in old age that, um, of rat men that live underground, and I actually have a friend that. Oh, let's buy the. What were we gonna buy? The sprint splinter shooter. There we go. Let's see what that does. We didn't equip it. Okay. Or maybe we did. 
Doesn't look like it. Oh, we did. Okay. Well, we'll give that a try. I don't like that. That sucks you down. Uh, they're a race of rat men that live under the ground. Oh, that's cool. It hits people in splinters. Love it. And they're pretty, um... They're pretty funny. Oh, God, rats. They, like, use, like, warp energy stuff, and... All their weapons are, like, green and cool, and... I enjoy it. I enjoy them. They're fun playing in Total War. Am I supposed to be going this way? This seemed like the secret way to me. Maybe it's not. Oh, another crocodile. And then the lizard men in uh, old age are pretty cool too. Because uh, they're like... Um, how do I say it? They're... You would think lizard men would be bad guys. But they're not. They're actually... Uh, like some of the original good guys in that universe, it seems like. Even though, as much as people can be good guys, you know what I mean? Like, look at this skull already. Oh, that looks bad. Okay, so I'm gonna have to jump on one of these crates, I would think. Um, and the lizard men, like, have these different clans, like... Not lizard men, sorry. The Skaven have these different clans, and they have, like, rattling guns and things like that. They're really cool. I've always wondered why they're not in 40k. Um, probably because the Tyranids are pretty much 40k. Um, are pretty much 40k vermin, but... Um, I fight against the Tyranids... Tyranids? Tyranids? In, uh... My Donald War playthrough, which I, you know what, I have not played in a while. I gotta get onto that. Look what I found. Oh no. Ah. I knew that was gonna happen. I suck at platformers, you guys. I don't like them. Ow. Like, I was one of the only ones of kids when I was little that didn't like, uh, I'm not a huge fan of Mario. I'm just getting off these boxes. Oh! Okay, this looks like an extra little area. Or is this where I'm supposed to go? Maybe there's just two paths to get to the same objective. That's kind of cool if it's true. Um, so they have like this green green warp fire stuff. You also fight the Skaven in Vermintide, which is a pretty fun game. Uh, Which was pretty sweet, but, uh... Oh, they are gene stealers! I was just gonna say, I wonder if they're gene stealers down here. Because of the tendrils and stuff, and they are. So gene stealers, if you guys don't know, are like, Tyranid... Spies or whatever? Not spies, but they infiltrate for generations these big hive cities and wait for their many-armed god, they call it to come and save them and stuff and they infiltrate the administration and stuff and then they essentially undermine planetary governance um, um and like create disunity before the uh before the high fleet the main high fleet comes so that's cool i wonder what other races there will be I'm just backtracking right now, it seems like. Oh, secret area. And I do love that the orcs just kill people indiscriminately, because they just want to fight. They want to find the fight, which is pretty awesome. Okay. Giant skulls. There's a lot of skull motifs in, uh... in Warhammer. Uh... Very fascist in their kind of... I don't know what the word is. Themes? This whole thing a platform? Okay. Oh, elevator level. Essentially, always an elevator level, or a trolley level, or a tram ride, or whatever. 
Oh, you're right, I can just jump off here, I guess. That made it easy. Dirty rats. So like I said, I hope everyone's doing well. Uh, I'm recording this, I've been thinking, oh no. I've been thinking about, um, essentially recording this. To, uh, ahead of time. Oh, are you kidding me? Um. Ooh, what's with these lights? I've been thinking... Killed them all, okay. I'm recording this. I might do the whole playthrough and then release them instead of releasing them one at a time. But then again, I haven't released anything in a while. I'm gonna try to re if I can get myself up to it, I'll record an episode of Dawn of War tomorrow. But I found the last one. I didn't have much to talk about. That looks like he's gonna suicide me. So I do not trust him. So I don't know. Oh no, he's got a pickaxe. Interesting. Um... Because sometimes it's hard to just talk about stuff, you know? Um... It's hard to come up with stuff. I find that's one of the hardest things in this... I won't want to say job in, in this hobby. Especially because my game style of playing God of War isn't... I don't know. I don't find it interesting. Um, I kind of brute force it, but maybe you guys do. Let's go through here, maybe. Oh, checkpoint. Okay. Oh, uh, more boxes. I hate platforming. See, at least it doesn't kill you. Want to buy myself a new axe? It is pretty forgiving. I'm still disappointed I don't know how to equip hats. Doing a spear. Oh, it's a gene stealer, so that's a real gene stealer. He's quick, I don't like him. I wonder if the flamethrower would be good against him. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, baby. So I think I talked about this in another episode, Angels of Death was absolutely fantastic with the Gene Stealer stuff. Okay, so if it overheats, it hurts me. So do I need to switch to something else in between? Die! One thing I do not like about this game, and I know I've had some of you tell me to try not to be negative and stuff. Um, let's is when you're getting hit it's not super obvious you're getting hit oh this shotgun does some damage dude i blew his head off that was pretty sweet bug eye boss you know what that's only 13 minutes let's keep going let's see what else we can play like maybe fight a real boss who knows uh let's look at the mech shop because that shotgun is really good Burner stick, modified version, short burst puff link, don't care about that. Quad barrel, I like that. I'd rather have small clip size and just light them up. And then I really want to be able to equip hats. Like, I don't know, whatever. Kill saw, death beam. I like that, I don't have enough money for that, but that's probably the next one. Let's take a look at this one. Yeah, I like that. That's gonna be good for bosses to just be like a cannon. Oh, they took my grenades away. Um, yeah, I don't like that, like, when you get hit. Days Without Accidents 3, nice. I love the music. I like the motif. Okay, that makes you slow. Um... 
but you can't, like when you get hit, you can't tell sometimes you're getting hit or you're taking damage. It's tough. Looks like we got some Mechanicus people. Or is that a Gene Stealer? Looks like a Mechanicus. But hey, it sounds like that flame's gonna go forever. Is that because it's an oil patch? Oh, it is. What happens if I shoot that? Uh, let's flamethrower it. That's cool. I like that. <laughs> Did you hear him? He just said war. War never changes, which is the tagline of uh, Fallout. Let's keep it going. I can't get out of it. Oh my gosh. I was panicking there for a second. Where's this going? Nowhere. I'm not a fan of the rats, I'm not gonna lie. I don't mind it, but they're just a, a nuisance right now. So the, the getting hit is interesting because it's like... Um... Like, you don't want it to be too much where you get hit and you can't do anything because you flinch too much. But you, you need to know, oh, I just dropped. I'm sure that's okay. This looks interesting. I'm just going to make sure this guy's dead and reload over here. Looks like a Titan thing or something. Kill them all, okay. So there was those are uh, We are just fighting Tyranids. I thought maybe you'd be a mechanic guy because the extra arms, but I should have known better. Let's try that new shoddy out. Okay, it's okay. Where are they all? They're like down there or something? And actually, if you've been watching my Dawn of War playthrough, uh, I think one of my viewers, Elias, mentioned uh, the Gene Stealers, and maybe that's why... Oh, I should set this on fire, so they can't... They die when they go to it. Um, he mentioned that he thought maybe a Gene Stealer cult had uh, infiltrated the... Uh, the high city. Whoa! I don't know what that is, but that's cool. And I thought that was a neat... I never even thought of that. But I think it's just good old-fashioned cowardice uh, in that Dawn of War playthrough of the... And, like, a, a big motif in, uh... in, uh, 40k is the, uh... Let's get some health. Is, like how there's still these corrupt officials and stuff, even though they're pretty much fighting for their lives, right? It's gonna be interesting to time. There we go. Um, Cause it's a commentary on humanity, right? Like, like you have humanity, there's gonna be a corruption. It's almost a, it's a sad truth, you know? Um, and you're going to have people, just like in modern day society, that don't know what it's like for the majority of the people, right? The 1% or whatever they're called. Like, the people that post, like, what is it, the rich kids of Instagram? Alright, I don't like stuff like this, but let's dash through it. I'm sure there's going to be another one at some point. Like, just people that are, like, completely disconnected from reality, you know? Um, and you know what? They don't even have to be rich. I meet plenty of people that are, you're just, like, have no self-awareness whatsoever and no self-reflection, and I think that's kind of sad. I don't know, but that's just me. Thought maybe I can cut through those cables. Okay, I gotta go down here and hit that. See? Kill this guy. 
Is there anything over here? And, you know, I think, not to philosophize on you guys, but I think that's a real downfall in our society, is uh, people unwilling to listen to other people, and people just becoming emotional over arguments and debates and things like that. Like, or like, I'll be on like dating apps or whatever, and it'll be like, oh, don't date me if you have, oh my god, that's so funny to go along on that. There, but like people that are like, oh, don't date me if you're this. Oh, jeez, look at that guy. You know what would be neat in this game is uh, if you got bigger as you um, as you won, like as you went through. Because orcs do that. As they get more and more victories, they get bigger and bigger. So I always thought it was cool. I don't know how useful that splinter thing is, really. We'll have to see. But yeah, just people like... It's okay to have different opinions on people. Like Everyone just wants them to people to agree with them no matter what. It's like... You could be wrong, you know? But... I don't want to get into what I think about that stuff. Oh, I get squished. I hope this guy gets squished. Oh, I did. Sweet. Looks like there's a sprig over here. They can't get to. That's lame. And actually, you know what I found was funny is uh, my old gamer tag. I was playing Call of Duty. So, um... My old gamer tag, some people, I could see how they find it offensive, but it was based off of history and things like that. It wasn't meant to be offensive, but I finally got reported by someone, and it's like, grow up. Like, I don't know. People's feelings get too hurt way too easily. Fall off the edge in today's society. Oh, I should have bought that gun. I wanted to buy that gun. That bean gun. Yeah, if you get a chance to watch on, what's it called? Oh, look at him. Look at him. Just dance with him. Oh, yeah. Uh, on Warhammer 40k. Oh, it says I can jump. Oh, let's buy that gun now. What was it? The Death Beam. I think that's going to be cool. Yeah, I love guns like that. That's so cool. Uh, okay, another wave defense. Actually, talking to, talking to my colleagues, some of my colleagues today, um, one of them mentioned he's going to watch Conan the Barbarian. And I was like, you know what? I haven't watched that in a long time. Not the remake, but the original Arnold Schwarzenegger. So I'm gonna watch that at some point. Maybe not tonight, because it's already pretty late tonight. But, um, actually, that leads me to have a question. What is your guys' I love that they fell into the, the fire. What is your favorite, like, older movie? Let's see if the death beam sets this on fire. Does it? I like this gun, but it, it, it overheats really easy. I wish you could upgrade your guns and stuff. What's your favorite, and this is going to make me feel bad, but what's your favorite old kind of corny cheesy movie? Because I love old movies from the 80s, um, which for much of my audience is probably like really, really old now. Um, but like, what's your guilty pleasure movie? What is the movie? That's cool. What is the movie that you want to watch every year, right? Like, and it can't be a good movie. It ha it, well, it can be a good movie, but it needs to be like a guilty pleasure movie. 
like one of mine is Starship Troopers, which I always say it's the best bad movie ever made. Um, because Paul, Paul Ver, Vervolven, the director, is actually, I think he's really intelligent. He makes blockbusters, but there's tons of subtext to him and stuff like I really knew him from, um, what are we on? This is kind of cool. I really knew him from Robocop initially, which essentially is the retail, like, it's critical of capitalism and stuff, and it's, it's a popcorn movie, but it's actually deeper than you think. It's actually a part of the Criterion Collection. Um, and like Starship Troopers is an indictment of fascist ideology, uh, which is really neat. Um, which is funny because the actual book itself, written by Heinlein, re I read it as pretty pro-fascist. I thought that was kind of funny. But I would say my guilty pleasure movie maybe Mean Girls. I used to love, well, I still love Lindsay Lohan. Like, she was my crush when I was in high school. So. You know, so I'm interested. What do you guys think? And I know some of you are young and are probably going to answer something from, like, when I was in high school, I'm just going to hurt my feelings. So. Let's get some engagement going. I like interacting with you guys in the comments. I just wish more of you guys would leave comments, because that's the most fun part for me, other than playing the games. Okay, we gotta be having a boss soon, you'd think. Nope, just another wave defense. With Mechanicum Cogs. I'm just gonna keep shooting these barrels and hoping to kill a bunch of people. Die! I think, I think, I'm gonna play Hogwarts Legacy. I'm not sure if this will come out before I start playing that, but I'm interested to see what you guys think. I think it would be kind of funny because I'm not a, uh, we'll see, wait for reviews, obviously. Oh, jeez. Um, but I'm not a, uh, Harry Potter guy. I think it's massively overrated and people always get mad when I say that. Um, like it's good, but it's not. But it's what you grow up with, right? I think they missed me a little bit. I remember reading the, I got one of the first ones for Christmas from a family friend. And I was like, I tried to read it, I was like, nope, it's a little too childish for me. Um, and not in a bad way. Like, it was clearly aimed for people younger than me. Dude, we're clearly in a machine or something, are we not? Oh, Biophages, I don't know what that is. Does anyone know what that is? Sounds not fun. So I have to hit, those guys don't do anything. I have to hit that guy. Oh God, I killed myself. Okay, so the Biophages must be the guy that creates the Gene Stealers or something, I don't know. Okay, don't want to use a rocket launcher. Not super happy that I have to do the kill them all part again. I like that death cannon, but it overheats too easily. What was I talking about before? I can't remember. Oh, Harry Potter. And I think I want to play it as an evil jerk. But I'm not sure because I don't play most games as evil jerks. Let me know what you guys think. I've been enjoying it recording this one because it doesn't take me... It only takes me half an hour, right? Like, I gotta make thumbnails and stuff. Unfortunately, this episode hasn't given me any really good thumbnails. Because there hasn't been any, uh, like, cutscenes, right? Like, the last one, when you're fighting the Bane Blade. Here we go. File pages. Cake. So I gotta hurt him the most. Let's trap him in here if we can.
Got him. Oh, now you're gonna just kill these guys separate. Okay. Reload. I love the damage output of this gun, but. There we go. Poison human, they call them. Love it. Okay, that's probably gonna be it for me unless there's a cutscene. Let's keep it going. Seems like it's the end of a level. Definitely. Oh, there is a cutscene. Perfect. Huh. There's something a bit weird about this here, you me. <laughs> Hang on a minute. One, two, uh, three. Uh, wait, three? That's not right. He's got too many arms. Boy, what's making all that noise? What the? The Patriarch, oh. Uh-oh. Oh, he's calling all his... his hive mind people. He's speaking in unison in a creepy hissing way. That's awesome. <laughs> you just funny looking, you mees. What's you gonna do with a big orc like me? Huh? Mm. Oh, okay. I think we gotta fight this then. Oh god, this fight might be tough. Like, look at my health already. I barely damaged him. This is gonna be tough, everybody. Come on, give me health, I need health. There it is. Can I get to it though? If I can get a wog on him again, I might be okay. Can't let that thing hit me. Come on! Nice! Oh, he ran away? Coward. Hope I don't have to fight him again. I gotta use the wall more often. So I think Hogwarts Legacy would be fun. They'd obviously be longer episodes. Um, and if I was gonna play an evil person, I'd specifically have to like focus on it. I'm gonna wait for reviews though. Um, Cause, I don't know. Unless it gets good reviews, I'm not... I'm not gonna play it. Cause I just downloaded Persona 3 and I really wanna play that. It's a game I've always wanted to beat. Um... I love the Persona games. Oh, he's back?! Okay, let's get our rocket launcher back. Oh, yeah, he's got two things now. Can I shoot those? No. I think I'm getting better at this game. Oh, jeez. As soon as I say that, he smokes me. Oh, 
Got one more on him. Are you kidding me? Can I cool it down with square? Okay, it's not bad. No, it's just auto cooldown, okay? Wonder how many times I'm gonna have to beat him. Maybe as many times as his arms? Here we go again. The rocket launcher is super effective against his shield. Oh, now there's ads? I don't like that. I need that help? Game is stressful. There we go. Some kind of weird boys in the trophy, that's funny. <laughs> oh you bunch of weaklings! I ain't even shot you yet! Huh? Don't just ignore me, you runs! Get back here for a proper cropping! What the? No, uh, that wasn't me! I do love how they're, they're, their take on this universe. I'm really enjoying it, I have to say. Okay, I'm supposed to run, but that's gonna be it for me today. Uh, we'll pause it so that I don't die. Thanks for joining everybody. Hope you're enjoying it. I'm enjoying it. Give it a like, comment, subscribe. This has been Teacher Plays and Class Dismissed. <laughs>